for almost two years now, I've worked for Jesus in the highways and the byways with the poor and needy. And I've been poor and needy myself. My identity isn't the two college degrees I have or the fact that I worked 23 years in healthcare marketing and sales and made a lot of money. I had my own home in Atlanta for over 10 years. Had an 802 Beacon score. Had all kinds of possessions and riches. But I didn't have Jesus the way I should have had him. And I was seeking worldly worldly things and I didn't even understand because no one in church ever taught me how to crucify my flesh the Holy Spirit of God had to convict me and teach me now as a comedian in Atlanta I even had things posted in modest photos of myself and I even did skits acting like I was a Disney villain in several videos where I even called myself Glenda the Good Witch or something like that, which was completely out of order because there is no such thing as a good witch. And this just goes to prove that Hollywood and Disney has been backed by the devil and propagated these kinds of ideas and things into the common vernacular and into our homes and into our children's minds and basically brainwashed us but right towards the end before Jesus comes back we're waking up and all those lies well guess what we're being delivered from it and we're being prepared for Jesus to come so God said to Samuel don't look at the height of a man Samuel and don't look at his countenance how he's dressed it's not about the designer logo because a whole lot of those folks ain't doing right neither it's about the heart and thank God we have Jesus who gave us the Holy Spirit and he was right when he said you'll be glad that I sent him and boy am I so now, if I was going to glory in anything, I'm going to glory in God and be grateful for my humble and lowly position and for God correcting me and teaching me what is of him, what is of the world, and what is of the devil, things that, you know, propaganda that has been fed to me. And that is why I do not watch television anymore, and I don't go to movies. I don't go to concerts or sporting events, nor do I listen to secular music. I read the Bible, I pray, and I'm getting ready to leave this earth. Now, if you're finding this video after the rapture, I'm so sorry you didn't make it. I was scared that I might not make it and I'm one of the servants inviting people to heaven because blessed is he who fears the Lord but I watched and I waited and I prayed and I carried my cross and most importantly towards the end I kept my mouth shut the last week before Jesus came I cloistered myself away from everyone and it was just me and God up to the very end. Me, God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. Just like when God shut the door of the ark and they knew it was any day, we knew that he was coming for us and we knew it was any day because we have the Holy Spirit. And knowing it's any day and knowing the day well, even Lot knew what day it was. And Jesus said, it'll be like the days of Noah and the days of Lot. And that's how we knew. Because we were woke up. And not woke like some of you who serve the devil. You weren't woke up at all. 
And the devil does everything to take God's words and twist them and make them the opposite. So, no. Not today, Satan, and not any day, because this message was created for those who were left behind. For you to know that God loves you and that we're coming back for you. And as long as you don't take the mark of the beast, which we believe is a microchip on the right hand or on the forehead, you can't have a job with them. You, you can't get any licenses to do anything, build a house or buy a house or do anything unless you take the mark or go to grocery store to buy anything, to have it shipped to you. So you're going to have to go off the grid. You're going to have to learn what it is like to go off the grid like I did to survive. See, we got to go to the wedding feast the poor and the needy, the ones that were off the grid. Now the ones left behind like that, they'll know how to teach you how to survive without getting the mark. So look for them, the people in the streets. They're probably sober now. A lot of them know who Jesus is. They just weren't watching and they were maybe doing the wrong things so they didn't go. Look for them. They'll know how to survive without taking the mark, and they'll help you. God bless you all. I hope you find this message, and I hope you don't take the mark because you have seven long years to endure God's wrath and what is to come. But you'll make it if you don't take the mark. Bye for now.